Welcome to your Space Coast Real Estate Update for December 2022 for State of the Marketplace. So December, we really just saw a continuation of November. Yeah, nothing really changed. Yeah, I mean, interest rates stayed the same, uh, inventory stayed the same, number of sales stayed the same. So it's just all consistent. So what I want to do this month is let's give some of our real estate predictions for 2023. So, you know, we take a lot of data, we listen to a lot of analysts. So these predictions, I mean, it's what you and I have discussed and it's all based on what the experts are saying. First prediction is we're gonna see interest rates at or below 6% in 2023. We think they're gonna stay there. Yeah, so we've already seen the inflation data cool and also the consumer price index, that's come in better than expected. So this has been the Fed's biggest target to get under control. So the markets have reacted to the Fed's reactions. Mm -hmm. So we've seen them as high as, you know, mid sevens. Now they've dropped to around six currently, yeah. a little, little Close, above six. Yeah. But this is all based on the markets reacting to the Fed's decisions on the inflation data. So our second prediction is in our marketplace, locally on the Space Coast, we're gonna see prices really kind of remain the same. I don't think they're gonna go up much. They're probably not gonna go down. Certain sectors we do believe may have a little bit of a decline. Yeah, they definitely decline from some of the high peak sales that we mm -hmm. saw. But uh, I mean, be clear, this is not a housing bubble. No. So it all comes down to the laws of supply and demand and inventory has remained lower mm -hmm. than what it's been pre-pandemic levels. So until inventory either doubles or triples, we're not gonna see huge price declines. Correct. So our third prediction for 2023 is we're gonna see list to sale price ratios more uh, co constant. We're gonna see them back to normal again, historically. Right, so list price to sale price ratios were above 100%, meaning people were paying above list price. Up to like 105% in some cases. Right, so now historically in my 27 years, we that rate is 97, 99% of list price, sometimes 96% of the listing price. Those are your historical normals. Um, and that just means for sellers, pricing is becoming a lot more critical. So just a little fun fact, Whenever I pull the data on the real estate agencies in Brevard County, as far as what their highest list price to sale price ratio is, our company Compass sells properties for more money than any other company. So we'll share that data with you too. Okay, so our fourth prediction is, surprise, surprise, we're gonna see less homes sell in 2023 than we saw in 2022 or 2021. Right, so your 2021, that's your outlier year. We saw the most home sales ever, more than 7 million sales. 2022 declined to around 6 million sales. And we're gonna see that even be lower in 2023. And I think the main reason for that um, is that 64% of all the homeowners out there, they have an interest rate of 4% or below. Or, yeah. Yeah, so some are in the twos and in the threes. Yeah. So those owners, they're gonna be hard pressed to make a move. They're gonna be more likely to, depending on the economics, to modify their properties, improve their properties, than to make a move. I agree. So in summary, in 2023, we're gonna see fewer homeowners make a move, which will keep inventory levels low. Yeah, and then with the rates dropping to six and below and staying there, which is a prediction, it's gonna keep demand higher. Mm -hmm. So in summary, it's just gonna move everything to a more balanced and steady market than what we saw in- Normal. Yeah, more normalized. Mm -hmm. So now more than ever, it's, it's very important for the consumer to work with a team of an experienced agent who know what's happening in the market and can interpret the data and not rely on those clickbait headlines that provide a lot of misinformation. We'd love to hear your comments on what you think is gonna happen in the 2023 market. We're gonna keep the data and the information coming to you every single month, so keep watching our State of the Marketplace. Thanks, see you next month.